Because when we talk about it, the prophetic and the revelations, the word God is showing, there is no hand, I have not seen any hand in the air, land or sea or anywhere in the world that could stop this very coming of this country. I have not seen, I have searched spiritually as a major prophet of God. I have entered into the realm of the spirit and tried to enter in the spiritual world to check out what is written in the spiritual world to make sure I am sure of what I am seeing. Because I keep on seeing it and I keep on seeing it written and I keep on seeing it closer and closer and closer. And I try everything to make sure I don't just speak. I search through the spirit. I examine the spiritual and I try to open it up to shake it and shake it. I've shaked it often and often. And it is really clear. Nothing stops the Biafra from coming to exist because the people have worshipped evil in this country. This country, people have worshipped devil. The moment you share the blood of your brother, the moment you close your eyes to the cry of the innocent, you close your ear to the cry of the innocent, you close your eyes from the pains of the, the needy, the pains of the people that are given to you to take care of, the moment you close your eyes and you don't pay attention to them, means that automatically you have bereaved, you have you have, you have anchored the creator of heaven and the earth. The moment the creator of heaven and earth is angry, forget it. That's what the Bible said. Don't be afraid of those that will destroy the body and not the spirit. When you make God angry, God is the one that has the power to destroy the body and destroy the spirit also. And so I am trying to make sure that I look in the realm of the spirit and search out what is already in the realm of the spirit. And it is absolutely clear. Absolutely clear. And this is what God told me. I should also tell the people that all these things that is happening is for learning. I see Biafra learning from all this corruption to be sure that in the country that God is given to them, there will never be any corrupt individual that will be imposed. If you are corrupt, you must declare your assets and declare yourself and quickly throw away every corruption and be refined and renewed and be regenerated because the nation that will worship God and lead the final, or uh, what is called the final gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ before the coming of the Almighty God, before the coming of Jesus Christ. Because God wants a place where he will be honored. God wants a country where he will be honored. Where people will have respect for fellow human beings. Where the respect and dignity of mankind will be given to man. God wants a place where the people can sit and say yes, Truly, we have the opportunity, the privilege to serve God. This is what God is searching out for. God is searching out for this. And God is watching for the people that will serve him in spirit and in truth. And in the realm of the spirit, as my eyes open and I begin to look, God say, this, this very coming country will never have corrupt leaders. The thing that has eaten Nigeria up and destroyed Nigeria is corruption. And what is corruption? The corruption is what is called nepotism. Nepotism is what is called sightedness. Sightedness is what is called tribalism. And when there's tribalism, nepotism, corruption, and all these things, no country survives all this. My prayer is that the will of God will be done. And nobody can stop the will of God. The will of God will surely come to be. And uh, the world we are in is a place where you are free to do whatever you want to do. But at the end of it all, there's always a final judgment. Tomorrow will always tell the law of karma. The law of what a man sowing and reaping. You sow, you cannot sow a corn and you go to reap a uh, cassava. You cannot sow a cassava and you want to go and reap a corn. It is what you sow is what you are definitely going to reap. I believe that a word is a wise enough for a wise person. We are going to do our best and fight everything possible to make sure that the glory of God and the will of God the presence of God comes to the people of God. We will not look back. We will not uh, concede to any 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 pressure of the darkness or power of the enemy. The devil has no right to take over. The devil has no right to stop the glory of God or to stop the blessing of God. The only people that God is looking up to is the people do the right thing. I have been saying this in often and often. Each time I will talk, I will say, if I am to advise, I will say let the people be called together. Discuss this thing. You will see that peace will return everywhere. You will see that people can be able to manage themselves. 
people can be able to take care of themselves. You see, we should not oppose whatever is not for our political interest. You are a politician, you are whatever you are, don't oppose whatever is not for your political interest. As long as it is for the interest of the people and the people loves it and it's helping the people to achieve their goals or succeed or move forward, approve. Let the people move on. Let the people move on. Let the people go ahead. Let the people go. Move on with what they want to do so that we can move on and move on. May the Lord help us to do the right thing in the name of Jesus. Because I know in the world we are is a world that if you tell the truth, people will not want to hear you. But when you tell them the lies and you paint it ahead, that's what they ring for. But the truth is the ultimate. And the wise counsel is the wise decision and the wise thing you can receive from a wise man. So our God is a wise God. That is why he's always giving us the wise counsel that can help us actualize our aims and our vision in life. God wants us to actualize our dreams and God wants us to become who he wants us to be. God doesn't want us to be frustrated. God doesn't want us to be uh, abandoned. God doesn't want us to be people that are, are somehow uh, destroyed. God wants the best for us and that, that best will continue to be our portion in the name of Jesus. Thank you all for listening to me. May the Lord bless you all and favor you all. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I am still your prophet, prophet Dr. David King Leo Elijah, the major prophet of God and the prophet that God is using to speak to us even in this last day. Even in this time that everywhere is quiet, people are calm, people cannot talk. God is speaking to us and our God is vocal and he will continue to speak and continue to tell me the prophet what to say and what to say. And I'm not speaking for myself, I speak for the people and let the name of the Lord be praised forever in Jesus' name. And I also want to say, all of you that are watching, if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, possibility television. You will see about uh, 17,000 uh, subscribers. God will bless you as you support, as you join the, 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 the uh, you, you subscribe. Or you want to follow me on my page, Glorious Matter of Possibility Church. Do that and God will surely bless every one of us in the name of Jesus. Whatever is your heart desire, God is capable of giving it to you and God is capable of meeting you at the point of your need. And at the end of it all, there will continue to be miracles in your life, testimonies and blessings will continue to locate you in the name of Jesus.